What yeah. is this? Who wants to be an artist in this group? Anybody? You. Oh, oh all yeah. Of you. Yeah. you already are, right? Nice. You, you just are. Just be yeah. taller artists. Christina Henry, and I'm here today for the uh, Avalon Foundation to promote the annual Arts in Easton Banner Auction. I'm here with my friends from Moton Elementary. We have some fifth graders who were actually fourth graders at the time that they painted the banner with their teacher, Mr. Joseph. I am here with Ara Smith, Nicholas Fluharty, Cody Campbell, Hi. Lily Roser, Hi. Riley Johnson, Hi. and Tymer Green. I love the banner program and uh, got in kind of at, um, at its inception through Maggie Sarfati mm -hmm. and uh, Matt Grice, the other art teacher, and I have been doing it um, for years and I really wanted some students to be a part of it. It's, yeah. it's, it's definitely been an experience for all of us, I would say. So it's really neat how long these banners are up and these guys have grown as artists just in the time that they've been hanging and they, they make great strides. And, from fourth to fifth grade. So, what did you think when you when you were finished? Do you like your work? Yeah. Uh, it was. I thought I thought it was pretty good. I just didn't know that it was going to be posted up. I thought when it was auctioned off and whoever won, I thought that's when it was going to be posted up. And so. So it's been up pretty much for yeah. a lot of the summer, and it's going to be up, like we said, for fall and for waterfowl. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are going to see it. Not just people, not just our friends and families, but people that come to visit Easton. So that's, I would say, thousands of people. Mm -hmm. I've done various things over the years for my banners, um, be whatever interesting subject matter, something that I think will play on, on the streets as well. It's, more, it's really a graphic project, because I'm an oil painter, but this you have to think that your viewers 14 feet away, and it has to be bold. So I knew the fourth graders would do a good job, because we're always thinking about big shapes first. We do a lot of outlining so that our pictures read from a distance, and we talk about these things. Uh, in terms of the ducks, we were doing um, observational drawings, looking at the shapes and then adding details. So you wouldn't, if you're doing a pintail duck, you wouldn't start with that feather. You'd start with the body, then the head. So that lent itself to that, and I did it with the entire fourth grade. Well, we had talked when we began this that this was a great opportunity to do art, but also a great opportunity for the school to get our name out there, that we're awesome artists, that we're working hard every day. But in terms of the proceeds, that the school would get some of that money to go towards art supplies. Um, and you'd be get, able to get that as fifth graders. Uh, clay, for example, very expensive. And that's something that we like to do at all grade levels. So these guys are team players and they would be making money for the school, but also we talked about them maybe getting some art supplies to use at home as well for the time that they spent um, out of the classroom to, to do this project. You know? well, thank you guys so much for your time. Congratulations. Way to go. And I can't wait to be at the auction to see what happens. And hopefully you guys can be there too. Thank you.